Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The easiest way to navigate through the Windows environment is by using your mouse. A mouse is a device that you control with your hand, and you roll it around on a pad. This allows you to move the mouse pointer, which is typically the arrow icon, on your screen to select files and folders. There are many variations of the mouse, but they are all designed to perform the same basic functions. When you move your mouse while it is on your desk, the pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. The mouse pointer can also assume different shapes depending upon your location on the desktop and what type of task you are performing. To control the mouse, position your hand on the top of the mouse with your thumb at the side and your two closest fingers resting easily over the two buttons on the top of the mouse. Your two fingers are used to press the buttons or perform the clicks of the mouse. Your mouse has four basic actions to master. They are click, double click, right click, and click and drag, or often called drag and drop. The different actions and what they can do will now be covered. So first we have the left click, or as it's just commonly called, click. When you click, it's just a single press and release of the left mouse button. It's used to select objects and execute toolbar button functions. So if I wanted to select this Adobe Reader in order to give that the focus of the program, I can click it. And you can see it then is highlighted. When you're looking at a toolbar, you can usually just give a toolbar button a single click in order to execute the button function. So down in the Windows taskbar at the bottom of the screen, if I click on the Internet Explorer button, it will open Internet Explorer. To close this window, I can just click on the X button. Now you also have a double click. And a double click is two quick press and release movements with the left mouse button in rapid succession. This is used to run programs and applications from the shortcuts that are available on your desktop. And it's also used to open folders and files that are shown within Windows. So for example, if I wanted to open the Recycle Bin folder, I could give it a double click. And that then opens the folder. To close it, a single left click on the button will do. You also have the click and drag maneuver. And that's just a single press of the left mouse button that you hold down as you roll the mouse to a new location before you release it. This is often used to select multiple objects or text in a document and also moving files and folders. So if I wanted to select both this Adobe Reader link and this Mozilla Firefox link that's shown on my desktop, I could click and drag over them by clicking and dragging and then you can see a little selection icon for the area over which I'm dragging and as long as I touch those two icons when I release my mouse button they'll be selected. So often that's used for multiple selection. To break the multiple selection I can just click into the blank area. Now the final maneuver that you'll need to be able to perform with your mouse is a right click. And a right click is just a single press and release of the right mouse button. When you do this, it shows a pop-up menu of commands that are available for the object that you right clicked. So as you can see here, I've just right clicked in the middle of the desktop and it's showing me different options that are available for the desktop. To make the menu go away, if you don't want to click on any of the commands that are available, click into the blank space of the screen. Or if I wanted to, for example, see the options that are available for the recycle bin, roll your mouse pointer over it and right click. So I can open it, I could create a shortcut to it, I could rename it, or I could view its properties. Any of these options you can select with a single left click. And those are the four basic actions that are available for the mouse.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.